What's going on guys? Charged up here in the garage with the R6. For today's video, let's talk about the Lumoto seat cover. So this past off season, I went ahead and changed the seat on the R6. Okay, well, it wasn't really a seat change, more like a seat cover put on top of the OEM. I purchased a seat cover from Louis Moto. If you guys want to visit the Louis Moto website, I'll put it down in this description below. Now, yes, this was a seat cover, which means I took the cover and I put it over top of the OEM seat that was already there. Now, the only reason that I did do this was because there was actually nothing wrong with the OEM seat, which is part of the instructions or tells you part of the instructions that you can take the cover and put it right over top of the OEM seat if there's no scars or tears or rips or anything on that seat. So that's what I did. I took the cover and put it right over top of the OEM. Now, if you guys haven't seen the install video or when I actually did it, I'll put that link in the top right hand corner. But as I stated in that install video, I have never done anything like this before. So I've never touched a seat before. I've never played around with the seat or ripped the seat cover off or put something else on. So this was definitely a first time thing for me. And to be honest with you, I think it turned out pretty well. Now the install process wasn't hard at all. The only thing you had to get used to was really getting used to where to put the staples as you're going along with the staple gun and getting that seat cover stapled onto the seat. Some places are super hard to get to, like this one looks like I barely even made it into the actual material, whereas other areas like here, it's nice and flush and I mean that's not coming up at all. There were definitely some harder areas around the corners around here to get those staples in, but once you got used to pulling on the material and getting that staple down, I think it turned out pretty well. Now comfort wise, is it more comfortable than the OEM seat? Well, I honestly think it's a tiny bit softer than the OEM. You are kind of putting like a cushion over top of the OEM seat. But to be completely honest with you, don't expect a massive change in the comfort of the seat while riding. Now grip wise, I would have to say it's 100% better than the OEM. And that's because of the material that's on the side of the seat which obviously is like a grippy material that allows you to grip onto the seat as you're riding whereas the OEM one is obviously the smooth uh, textured one where you can obviously slip and stuff like that but um, definitely like that aspect of it and I think it's really worth it even just for that. Material wise guys everything has held up pretty well there are no tears uh, no rips or anything like that the staples are actually where they are when I installed it. Nothing has moved, no creases has moved, has moved over or anything like that. And it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. It actually looks the same as from my, what I remember uh, when I installed it the first time. Now I personally like the seat cover and I'm happy with the install. I love the way the seat actually turned out. It's got the three separate materials. It's got the carbon fiber material look on the top. It's got the grippies on the side and it, it has the, the, the blue stitch with the suede uh, diamond pattern on top which I think it looks freaking awesome and I think it matches the bike really well too. Now I chose the blue stitching. Now you can actually go onto their website and pick between a number of different stitching material and the design of your seat if you are looking to get a Louis Moto seat cover. But yeah, let's face it, it's 1000% better looking than what the OEM is, that's for sure. Now with all that being said, I do however have a big negative. Now because of the material I chose, I chose the diamond pattern suede finish on top, so that's the material, the suede material. Because of that, it gets wet and stays wet. How does it get wet, you may ask? Well, number one, you get caught in the rain, it gets wet. Everything else as you're riding kind of dries up, obviously with the airflow and everything, it gets warmer, it dries up, like everything, everything on you dries up. However, the seat, the seat stays wet. The material kind of absorbs that wetness and keeps it there. So everything else while you're riding is nice and dry afterwards and then your butt is still nice and soaked. And the second way that the seat gets wet is well, I wash my bike a lot. I keep it nice and clean. So when I do wash it and you're spraying the water on there, well guess what? The seat gets wet and it stays wet as well. Now with the OEM seat material, you can put water on it and I think you can come by with like a cloth or something and just wipe it. It gets, if there's a little bit of moisture, but as soon as that moisture is gone or you give it a couple minutes and that's gone and this, the OEM seat is back to normal and dry. So you can wipe down that OEM seat and poof, you're ready to go.
back on your right. With this seat, mm, not so much unfortunately. Now I first noticed this after I did my first wash since installing the seat. The seat actually stayed wet for I believe a day or two after the wash was done. And I even went by and I grabbed some cloths and tried to like, you know, push on the material to soak that water up, but it would still stay wet and damp for I believe, I'm pretty sure it was like two days after the wash. So I couldn't really go and hop on the bike and go for a ride if I really wanted to. I mean, I guess I could have, but then you would just have a soaked ass. So how do I get around this when it comes to washing the bike with the seat? Well, it's very really simple. I just take the seat off. I wrap it in a plastic bag. I tape the back end and then I put the seat back on and I try to pretty much avoid getting water around it, I guess-ish. But that just obviously stops you from cleaning your seat. I never had to think about that when it was just the OEM seat the way it was. But guys, other than that one negative about it getting wet and staying wet, which to some people it might be a huge negative, I haven't come across any sort of other negatives on it. I love the way it looks, I love the material, uh, it feels nice, it's nice when it's riding, it does add a tiny bit of comfort, a tiny bit, I wouldn't say a lot, so don't expect much if you do get it, but I think it looks great with the bike also. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, still super happy with it. All right guys, that was just my two cents about what I think about the seat cover from Louis Moto. Once again guys, if anybody wants to visit the website to see if they have seats for your bike, I'll put that in down in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and to the next one.